We've learned that an American tourist in Israel has been killed in a stabbing attack. Israeli police say a Palestinian man stabbed at least 10 others in Tel Aviv on Tuesday, near where Vice President Joe Biden was staying. He's there on a two-day visit to meet with the Israeli and Palestinian leaders. I spoke with CBS Radio News reporter Robert Berger in Jerusalem about these latest attacks. Well, a Palestinian, the most recent attack, there were several today, was a Palestinian uh, with a knife uh, went, uh, went on a stabbing rampage in Jaffa, that's just outside Tel Aviv, and killed a tourist and also wounded at least nine other people. Uh, several seriously before he was tracked down by security forces and killed. That was one of three attacks today, Vlad. Also, a Palestinian woman tried to stab police officers here in Jerusalem before she was shot and killed. And there was also a Palestinian who shot and killed two police officers before he was shot dead. So it's been a very violent day here in Israel. And in fact, Robert, these attacks have been going on for several months now. Remind us again, what's behind this, uh, this round of violence? Well, it all began back in September it is surrounding the Al-Aqsa Mosque, or what the Jews uh, call the Temple Mount. And from there, it's escalated. What's, what's made this very difficult for the Israeli security forces to deal with is, is that they're calling these lone wolf attacks. The, the attackers, and apparently the same thing today, are not really members of any uh, terrorist group. Uh, they are acting um, basically alone, getting up uh, on a given day and deciding to stab people, and that's very difficult to prevent. Robert, has the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, anybody come out and condemn these attacks? The Palestinian Authority throughout this whole uh, wave of violence uh, basically has been silent. I think the, the leadership is afraid to confront the basic uh, general mood on the street, which is one of anger and frustration. And in fact, the Palestinian Authority is saying that this is the result of Israeli policies, oppression, and the occupation. Mm. Uh, the vice president, as we said, is in Israel to meet with Israeli and Palestinian leaders. Uh, clearly, these attacks are going to complicate those meetings. Well, it, you know, I, he basically, there's not a whole lot uh, the, the vice president can do. I, I don't think there's any, any expectations at all for this visit, other than I think the United States is trying to remain engaged with uh, the Israelis and Palestinians. Uh, Biden tomorrow is going to meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and also separately with the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Well, you can be sure that he's going to condemn these attacks and, and appeal for calm. But so far, uh, American and Western and Israeli uh, appeals for calm have basically not been heated. And uh, there's really no sign uh, of a let-up to this wave of violence. All right. Robert Berger with CBS Radio News in Jerusalem. Robert, thank you so much for your reporting. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you.